Welcome to Time to Improve. Amazon, Apple, Facebook and Google are four of the most influential companies on the planet. Whether you are aware of it or not, it's very likely that within the last 24 hours, you used something bought from Amazon, sent a Facebook message, used an Apple product or Googled something. In the book titled The Four, Professor Scott Galloway looks at these four companies and what makes them so special. Let's go over the main points. The presence of the four. The four companies have integrated themselves and their products into our daily lives. But is this necessarily a good thing? We all have needs and these companies have been very successful in meeting them. If you want a question answered, just Google it. If you want to talk to a friend, just write to them on Facebook Messenger. If you want the latest high-tech gadget, just get an iPhone, iPad, MacBook or even Apple Watch. And if you want anything in the world delivered conveniently to your front door, just buy it on Amazon. Because of all this, Apple has become the most profitable company in the world. Amazon is the number one choice for online purchases in the USA. And Facebook and Google get billions of active daily users. Despite the fact that these companies have made our lives easier, have they really changed the world for the better? With big companies come big problems. Mistreating of employees, personal data breaches, just to name a few. Amazon, anything you want. Amazon appeals to our natural hunter-gatherer instincts. When human beings were living in the Stone Age, our ability to collect and store food and objects was crucial to our survival. It's not surprising that in our modern consumer-based society, the same instincts have been supercharged with ease of access and convenience. You can buy anything you want from the comfort of your own home. And Amazon takes advantage of this with its online presence and the ability to sell to anyone in the world. One trend seen in Amazon warehouses is that more and more robots are being used to replace human jobs. Whether this is good or bad, you decide. Apple, luxury technology that looks great. Steve Jobs was a revolutionary tech icon and Apple has become a worldwide symbol for innovation and coolness. In 2019, Apple recorded global revenues of $260 billion. Yes, its products are expensive compared to the alternatives, but that is part of the brand image and strategy. The elegant and stylish designs of Apple share commonalities with other luxury brands like Gucci and Ferrari. Luxury turns heads, and in this day and age, attention is wanted by many people. Apple uses this to their advantage by selling sexy products at premium prices. Facebook, the social network of the world. As humans, we all have fundamental desires to be part of a social group and stay connected to our friends. The most popular religion in the world, Christianity, has about 2.3 billion adherents. Facebook has over 2.6 billion monthly users. If Facebook was a religion or a cult, it would be the biggest in the world. It helps us stay connected, meet new people and revive old friendships. Scrolling through our newsfeed, we can see what everyone in our friend list is up to without the hassle of meeting them in real life. Whether this is true human connection is a matter of opinion. Of course, with so many users, Facebook has access to an endless supply of personal information. Information that can be used to drive profits and run targeted ads. By identifying as a platform and not a media company, Facebook doesn't take responsibility for content published by its users. Yes, it can police the platform, but the data ultimately comes from the user. Google, the answer to all of your questions. Google is like a digital deity that can take information from all over the internet and fast track it to your brain in mere milliseconds. Google knows our searches and our secrets. If we look at symptoms for an illness, Google can recommend cures. It really does have all the answers to all of your questions. And of course, YouTube is part of Google. So viewing this video right now, we are utilizing its services and we can search for any video about anything at any time. So what do they all have in common? The author specifies eight factors that are common among all four companies. Product differentiation. This is offering a superior product. Visionary capital. This is a compelling future vision that attracts investment. Global reach. This means that anyone in the world has access. Likeability. Vertical integration. Artificial intelligence. 
which of course involves complex data algorithms. The ability to attract top talent. And geography. With our ever-changing world, there could be a fifth company that joins the ranks of the four. And there are plenty of candidates. Uber, with its industry disruptive ideas. Microsoft, with its desktop operating system market share. Alibaba, with its online presence. And even Tesla, with the charismatic Elon Musk. Only time will tell. The only constant in our digital world is change. Amazon, Google, Apple, and Facebook have truly embraced this and even led some changes of their own. They have changed our daily lives and the way we interact with each other and the whole internet. They did this by appealing to our deep human desires and utilizing the latest technology and trends. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Leave a comment below if you think that there are any companies that you think will join these big four in global influence and reach. And as always, remember, if you don't know what time it is, it's time to improve.